Alright guys, so welcome back to Detroit Become Human. So in the last episode, uh, Fat Todd got killed by a group of androids. So uh, let's get into it. Oh, it's raining. That is not good. Alright, so first things first is we're going to go interact with that thing. Because I'm gonna try to get the one of the endings. I, I believe it's you have to interact with this every time you come here, but I could be wrong. But I'm just gonna do it just to do it. And every time Connor does, he freaks out a little bit. So I don't know. So where is Amanda? Probably in the middle. But yeah, in the last episode, it was kind of crazy with uh, the one dude kidnapping Kara and trying to brainwash her. I, I, I'm calling him Fat Todd, but his name is uh, Zeko or something like that. It's just a really weird name to pronounce, and I'm not going to say that. Amanda. She's not here. Where is she? Oh, there she is. So I forget if Amanda is a android or not. Hello, Amanda. Kaya. I think she is. I've been is. expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Of course. I have no choice. I'm an android, after all. I th I think she's human. If I remember correctly, but I don't know. She could be an android with the thing ripped off. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Pity you didn't manage to capture. Oh. No excuse. I have no excuse. I should have been more efficient. Did you manage to learn anything? Diary. I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Interesting. So she doesn't want the word of the deviants getting out. But the thing is, I think people are already putting together that deviants are, or androids are becoming deviants. So, and then I think we're going to Lieutenant Anderson's house. Detroit, Texas. Texas, tax, ticks. Ah, right, I can't say the word. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Lieutenant Anderson! Let me in. Anybody home? Alright, he's a... I don't think he is home. Yeah, I think... No, actually, no, he is here. Because here's his car. He didn't even fucking make it. Oh, he must be drunk. Yeah, because he's parked like that. Yeah, he's drunk. Alright, where is he in here? Uh, it looks like there's something flipped over.
Oh shit. Hank is unconscious. Oh. Lieutenant Anderson. Damn it. Easy sumo. I'm your <laughs> friend. <laughs> See? I know your Aww. name. I'm here to save your owner. Aww. He's just a cute little boy. Yeah, he is. Check on Hank. I think he's just, yeah, he's just drunk. Black lamb, scotch whiskey, 40% alcohol. Oh, shit. Revolver. Was he playing like Russian roulette or some shit? Trade of alcohol, 40%. No signs of trauma. Okay, so he's just drunk. Lieutenant. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <laughs> it's me, Connor. <laughs> uh, that's funny I'm going shit. to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. <laughs> Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Sumo, attack. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Attack! <laughs> Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. He's gonna fall down, isn't he? No? Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. Damn it, come on, Hank. Just get in the shower. The you grumpy, are you I don't. Doing? Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. Oh, no. Ah! Ah! Turn it off! Turn it off! Ah! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? The homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <laughs> <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? You seem to have personal issues. You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> Let's tease him. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. <laughs> There's some clothes in the bedroom there. Bring I'll Hank go some. get them. Bring Hank some clothes. Hank sobered up, bring Hank clothes. All right. Right here. And my HDMI's out the fuck up again. I don't know why my what HDMI. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Hippie, strippy, streaky. Strippy. I would choose hippie, but I don't think Hank would like that, so. Well, I mean, it's in his closet, so he probably... Oh. Are you alright, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, <laughs> give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Learn more about Hank. 
speech to Congress today, where she demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. Oh yeah, this is uh. The Kremlin has yeah. yet to respond, but this is clearly a new. This is his uh son, deceased Anderson Colt. His son died in an accident. Well, it has to do with an accident, but. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Of course. Hank has. Hank has suicidal tendencies. Collapse before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. He didn't say anything. Damn. Yeah, Hank has. Uh, oh. He he kind of looked nice. Even su sumo. even sumo Don't likes his outfit. I might unplug my HDMI and plug it back in real fast before we continue. Yeah, my HDMI is freaking out. Like, there's like a bunch of dots on my screen, and then I don't think any of this pops up in the recording because it it doesn't pop up on that end. So basically, we we learned a little bit about Hank. Um, so Hank has Russian well, has a uh, suicidal tendencies, and then not only that, but uh, his son died, and then he's well, he's obviously an alcoholic. So. All right, here, I'm going to pop my game real fast and fix my HDMI, so let me do that real fast. Ah, shit, hold on. Sorry, guys. Just my HDMI keeps fucking up. I don't know why. It's just one of the problems I've been having with it lately. So... This should be it right here. Did that fix it? There we go. Much better. But yeah, like I said, sorry about that, guys. It's just, just my HDMI has been messed up, messing up lately. I don't know why. I think it has to do with because uh, what what I do is I switch HDMI's between my Xbox and my PlayStation, and uh, I think it fucks it up every time I do it. So this time I didn't plug it in all the way before I started uh, recording. So. Alright, there's these guys. So yeah, this is the robbery where we're gonna go uh steal from the us, warehouse. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Alright, so so far Jericho sees me as as a neutral person. But yeah, the, all these people right here are all the the leaders of of Jericho. So we've got Simon, Josh, and North. I really don't care for North because she's annoying as shit, annoying as hell. Don't let them see us. Josh is all right, and then Simon's a G. So there's some androids right there. Watch out! Wait, how are you communicating? Now what do you do? I'll find another way. Yeah, I want to I want to try to avoid bloodshed and not kill humans because the thing is there's like I said There's a bunch of endings for this game and one of the endings is you can well I I won't spoil it because I'll, I'll explain it when it happens But there's a lot of stuff that can happen between androids and humans and It's pretty interesting I'm gonna follow Simon I'm gonna follow these guys. I don't really like North, so I'm just gonna stick with you boys. Okay, she beat us. Never mind. I should have went the way that she went. Cyber life. All right. All right. Let's go to where Simon went. Okay, I'll climb up here. Ah, fuck! I'll go with Morph. I probably should went with Simon. Sorry, guys. Get me a drink real fast. Okay. 
But yeah, this mission's kind of stressful, if I remember correctly. Because you can get caught. The warehouse is up ahead. We're almost there. And I hope we don't get caught, because uh, I want to make sure Jericho is good and well. Even though, I don't know yet. Because, there's like, like I said, there's different options I could choose. Like, if I want to be a good person or a bad person. So, it just depends on how I want to play. So far, I've been doing it. I've been doing a good job so far, yeah, so. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. All right. Reconstruct. Uh, Pre-construct, sorry. All right, so I can now, I can choose how to deal with it. So, jump here. Up too high, of course. Nah, not, that's not a good idea to jump at it. So let's jump up here. Yes, sir. Climb on here. Not too high. All right. And then... Ah, too wide. All right, so we got to hold on here still. And then... Yes, sir. Yep. Let's do that. Now, the thing is, you would think if they're Android, or not Android, that drone goes off, that they would be a little suspicious. But I don't know, that's just me. Let's go. Oh, shit! I wasn't paying attention. Oh. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Thanks, North. North likes me, yay. Open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can. All right, got him away. Yes, sir. Look at all that blue blood. Yeah, gonna fill my pockets. Oh shit. Oh. Hey. You were trespassing on private property. Oh, he's an android. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Grab and hide. Come here. Come here. John! I need your help. John! Oh no. I'm gonna release him. I trust him. I, I trust him. There you are. What the hell are you doing? I was inspecting the platform. Everything is in order. Good. Then I'm going back to the control station. I'm soaked. Take the drone to maintenance and make a report. Understood. So yeah, we can convert other uh, androids. That's what we learned from this. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. Shut up, bitch. I'm taking stuff. What was that man doing in the background? I saw that. He was stuffing them in his pocket. So what's in here? Unlock. I like how we're using knives for this shit. What's in here? Wait. Oh, androids. AP seven hundred. Why aren't you like us? Wait, Marcus, you just freed one of your brothers. Free them. We're gonna free them. Join us. Join us. Brother. So yeah, Marcus pretty much learns here that he can spread the virus of the Deviancy or RA9 or whatever to other androids and he can awaken them. And then basically they have free will. Well, we have free will and then they have uh, emotions and stuff like that. And then 
We have more soldiers. Josh like that. That's all we can carry. Let's go. I mean, we have more soldiers. They can carry stuff with Take us. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. Nah. Risk for us. We can't just leave him here. He is one of us. Back with us. It's too dangerous. Except. They come with us. John is one of us. Yes, come with us, John. North. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. Yeah. They're See, awesome. John's helping us, you dumb bitch. Yeah, key. fuck you. Where is this key? Yeah, fuck you. Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. There's a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And yeah, if we, we get can't. Killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. I'll do it. Wait here. If I'm not back in ten minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We gotta do what's best for our people. And fuck humans. Yeah, fuck them dirty. I'm just kidding. Oh. What, what am I doing? Wait, wait. I, I didn't mean to do that, by the way. I was just trying to... Alright, so there's a window. So let's go for the window. Here we go. Alright, I'm going to try to avoid killing these humans, if possible. Goddamn dogs. Um... What do I do here? What the fuck are they barking? What are they barking about? Well, I know why they're barking. It could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah. I was gonna take my kids camping. Right. This Key found. Okay. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone? Threaten the guards. Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out controlling the map. Call it blackout? Yeah, do that. Now how do I how do I do the short circuit? Cause I don't wanna threaten the humans if that's the case. Throw the guards outside. Yeah, let's go outside. Yeah. Because honestly, threatening the guards will cause panic with the humans, and you know it's just not a good idea. So. All right. So. Oh, wrong button. What is it doing? Fuck, what was that? The drums fell down. Damn it, go, 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 go. Did you get it? Yes, sir. Nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I'm driving. I call shotgun. Well, I mean, I'm driving. But... Get in. Hurry! Get in. Yeah, I don't know why North was complaining. We got so much good shit from this. Drive out of the docks.
They're like, yeah, coffee. <laughs> Dumbass humans. Fuck you. Oh, they got that drone working. I just saw that. Hello, my people. A truckload. We stole a whole truckload. We load. got bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. Yes. Me. Admired. Yes. North is my friend. I came to Jericho because. Here, androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Yeah, fuck the humans. Nor if Josh and Simon are like, oh shit, what the fuck would just happen? But yeah, this is a good mission. And then, uh, oh, there's a lot of stuff that can happen on this mission. But yeah, you can uh, you can steal the key or don't steal the key, and then uh, there's a lot of different stuff that can happen. But because we distracted the guards by kicking the thing, oh no, oh it's this mission. I don't think I have to censor anything on this mission. I, I hope not. At least, I, at least, shit, I can't speak today. Oh, it was like somebody's playing with a drone. Oh, yeah, I just drove here. Skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Alright, let's go. Jesus. <laughs> Hank friend. Yes. Software instability. I don't know what that means. I, I think that means like I can break free from being a... A, a machine, I think, and that means I can become a deviant. Sexiest but... androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Okay, Anderson. Oh boy. You're an asshole, Anderson. I hope you know that. Welcome to oh God. Hey, yo. I'm just joking. Hey, there's North. Look, <laughs> it's North. But yeah, yeah, yeah. North worked here, I think. That's why. Because she's one of the models, so. You're not gonna take my license, are you? I, mean, I had nothing to do with this. Oh my god, it's Todd. Sir, I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben, how's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there too. Oh, great. Gavin? His body and an asshole, just what I needed. Who's Gavin? Oh, this prick. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned to all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like you wasting your time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. All right. Good night, Lieutenant. When I get the chance, I won't kill him. If I become a machine or stay a human or deviant or whatever. All right, so first things first is we're going to examine uh, this dude. So he got strangled to death, according to the person. So let's see here. So, this is Graham Michael. Oh, my God. My dad. 
severe bruising. Yeah, okay, so he got choked to death. Cardiac arrest, okay. Yep, yeah, no shit, the victim was strangled. He didn't, so, oh. he didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. Nah. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna puke again. <laughs> Oh wait, I think we can connect her and then Oh yeah, we can turn her back on, I think. And then we can ask the her questions. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Oh shit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Fuck, I was supposed to hold it. Alright, so you're most likely she's gonna be a deviant, so I have to handle the situation calmly. Ex uh, explain. You were damaged and I reactivated you. Everything is alright. Is he. Is he dead? Facts. Tell me what happened. He started. hitting me. again. and again. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Uh, alone. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. Uh, other... Where did the other android go? Did it say anything? And she's dead. All right. Well, now we know for sure it's two androids. So, well, it's her and the other one. But there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. I know a way. Maybe an eyewitness. Somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. I know several Let me witnesses. know if you think of anything. We do have Did eyewitnesses. You know the so, the the first eyewitness is uh, the other Good. androids. No, I mean, we came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys they didn't really talk very much. You know, they come in, do their business, and then go on their way. They ever have any trouble with any androids before? No way. No. Once. My guy is eyeing that me, uh, dude, android. I don't know if you saw you that. Here a second. Found something. Maybe. All right. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. <sighs> uh. <laughs> oh, a thirty-minute session costs twenty-nine ninety-nine. Please confirm your purchase. <laughs> He is not going to look good on my expense account. <laughs> Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? I'm going to probe its memory. Pro yep, he's going to probe it. This is apparently one of the most hardest experiences for an android oh, to go shit. through. What the hell are you doing? 
All right, so it's a blue Tracy. All right. Went to the left. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. So, it went this way, so... Probably this one right here. This one right here will probably... Hey, what have are we good. supposed to do with it? Let's try this one. This better be important. Let's see. Shit. Fuck. Nothing. Blue haired Tracy didn't come this way. Uh, alright. Let's, tr let's try this woman. Alright, let's see. Uh. Oh. I turned back into the club. Okay. All right. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. So uh, let's. They go for it. Ah uh, shit! All right, probably there this are androids one. Androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which. Let's see. Right here. Nice. It turns into the red room. Nice. All right. We're doing good so far. Come on, Hank. No time to stare at the woman's ass. Alright. Now... This one right here probably has a good angle, because he's on the far right. That's just my guess. I'm not gay by doing this, by the way. I'm just... Hello, toots. Wait. Shit, didn't see it. Fuck. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, uh... Lost its track again. Probably this one. Because this one spins around, so it probably has a good angle on everything. I probably should have done that first. Wait. No, it did see it, I think. No, shit! I might fail this mission. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, so that one didn't see it, so... I made a mistake somewhere. This one, this one, this one, this one. Get out of my way, bitch. Fuck. Hank's gonna be pissed. Damn it. No. I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. Alright, try the black one. See if he's seen anything. A cop? Oh, of course, the cop's harassing it. Jesus. Just like real life. I'm sorry, Didn't Hank. See anything. Oh my god. Okay, right here probably. This one? I don't know. Alright, yeah, this one. Turned into the blue. Alright. Sorry, Hank, for making you waste all your money. Okay. How much time do I have? Did it say? Four minutes. Oh, okay. We have plenty of time. Okay, so I went in here. Um, hello. Did you see anything? Yes, I did. It hid in a room. Okay. Now, which room was it? It was this one. Okay. Okay, so it's not in here anymore. Okay. So, okay, wh which one has a good angle on that room? Probably this one? Probably? I would, I would even think. Oh. Uh, did that one murder someone too? It didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 this dude. Here, let me talk to you. Did you see anything? Oh, he did. He did. He, he saw right here. 
They fled through the staff room. Nice. Okay, we got everything we need. Now, where the fuck is the staff room? I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Shut up, Hank. Follow me. It went in here. Wait. I'll take it from here. Alright, yeah, you're right. You have a gun. I only have my fists. Hanks, so it was 30 bucks for each of them, I think. So how many did I, like, did? Shit, we're too late. Analysis. It's leaking blue blood. So wait, did it get hurt during the fight? Let's see. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, it's one of these ones. It's that one. What the fuck? Bitch, get off me. Hank! Don't move! Oh god, Hank! Get your hands off me! Bitch. Damn. Oh my gosh, you gonna beat me. Get my ass beat by a woman. Oh my gosh, you gotta shake. Hank, you holding your own over there? I think Hank's getting a shit clap. Uh. Knock over. Fuck you. Okay, that didn't do shit. Uh, bro. Come on. Ah, oh, shit. Hank. Hank, come on, man. Oh, no, it's a 2v1. Damn it, Hank. Come on, man. Quick, they're getting away! Yeah, come here, bitch. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Man, Connor is a 2v1. Come on, my man. Yeah, fuck him up. I got a Glock. Ah, I'm not gonna shoot her. There's no point. It, it, she's unarmed, and you know, it's just not worth it. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I don't I think it was a hold up in court, miss, but... Get back to the one I love. Huh? Game? I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Oh, is she looking at you, Hank? Come on. Let's go. Hank's like, the fuck? Hank's like, were they talking shit about Probably me? Probably better this way. Honestly, I would have shot him, but the thing is, they were not of a certain color. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't shoot her anyway. So, wait, there was a third option? The fuck is the third one? Cause I know the other option. So, the other option is to... 
Oh, so wait, you can lose the fight. Oh, okay. Alright, well. Alright. Uh, I probably should end the video here, but I'll see how far I can get, because uh, I have 45 minutes left and 22 seconds. So. Oh, it's blue for. Alice loves me. And then there's me. <laughs> Let's ask him some questions. I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Yeah, you right, you right. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. All right. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. He probably didn't. He probably had his Android. Oh, fuck. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Oh, it's, it's not one of those uh, one cars. All right, Alice, you stay here. Me and Lufor are gonna go look out there. All right. Car, you dumbass. The, the other door was open. Oh, never mind. It wasn't. All right. So let's see here. What are we going to do? No. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Then know where we can stay around here, Carol. You don't know that. What's that? Oh, I'm going to see what that is. Oh, yeah. This is an amusement park, right? Park Cove, yeah. Hey, Lucor. There's Alice. Oh, he's carrying her. Aw. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Oh my god, at these Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Why are you screaming? I'm right next to you. Let's see. Alright. Yeah, I don't know why he's fucking screaming. I'm right next to him. Dumb bastard. There's probably like a little shit shack we can stay in or something. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. Maybe we can find like snacks or something for her. Because she does need food. I don't know how the hell we haven't gotten her any food yet. I mean, unless we stole something from Zoclo or whatever the hell his name was. Fat Todd. I'll just refer to him as Fat Todd for the rest of this game until I'm done playing, so. Beware! Danger always comes when least expected. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. I did. Oh, that's fucking creepy. Look at this shit. Ah, hell no. It's an android. Well, 
Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Damn. Damn, bro. They let this android stay here for all eternity? That's, that's tough. Alright, where the fuck are we? We're, I think we're at the... Where are we at? You are here. So we're at the, the shipwreck. Okay. Alright, let's go this way. Don't worry, Alice. We'll find you a little house to stay in or something. Honestly, we don't really have to worry about ourselves. Because we're androids. We don't feel like pain or anything like that. Too small for the three of us. Bitch, who cares? The only thing you really need to care about is Alice. Wait, what is that? Wait, is there drinks in there? Hold on. This place is full. Lufar, get your oh, ass over there. It's not gonna be easy to find shelter. Alright, Lufar, I understand that. Alright, I'll make this video a little bit longer. I think I can record for 60 minutes, so I hope I don't take too long on this part. Here's this. Oh, perfect. Look safe inside, yeah. And then, uh, if it does and it stop recording, I can actually record uh, for another 20 minutes additionally. Because, uh, if I remember correctly, in the recording app or whatever I can actually uh, record up well I can combine clips up to 80 minutes so I'll handle this thank you Lou for my god what a strong man we can actually use some of that wood for the fire too god damn there we go. Thank you, Lufor. Maybe men are useful after all. I'm just joking. <laughs> I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get the fire going. I was like, a hat. What is this? U.S. Uh, missing. Boring. I do not care. I'm only reading to get the achievement. That's it. What is this? All Android band tip through music prize. So they even have Android singing. Honestly, Androids are good for probably a few things. Like music, but like entertainment. You know, stuff like that. Check Lufor's bag. Make a, make a bed for Alice. What's in his bag? Let's offer a cookie. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Alright. Check the gun. Whose gun is that? That's not mine, is it? I mean, I, I, I forget if I have my blicky with me, but, you know. Oh, he made a bed. I mean, not a bed. He made a fire. Let's go. What's this? Oh, a happy family. Oh, how convenient. All right, here you go, Alice. Go night night. Bedtime. Alice? Alice, what are you looking at? Stupid girl. I'm just joking. I really want to talk to Lou for her, but I can't. 
Oh no, is this gonna bring back memory? Yeah, it is. Isn't it? <sighs> yeah, I killed her daddy. Yeah. I don't know if she likes that. Okay, she liked me when I killed her dad. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Realistic. Sincere. I don't know how to be like them, Alice. I've never been a part of a family. But maybe we can be our own family. Be happy in our own way. That would be kind of sad, because... As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Aw. Family. <gasps> oh, that's so that's cute. But yeah, since Alice is a, a human, and then she's going to, you know, grow into an adult, Al not Alice, Kara is still going to be an android and, you know, not age at all. So Alice is going to be like a fucking teenager and, or an adult in the deck down the line. Let's kiss her. Good night. Sleep tight, Alice. Aww. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. It's about a princess. This is a story about a princess who... No! Not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. <sighs> Unhappy. Who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Impossible. Shadow. The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. The shadow is her father. <laughs> she met a robot. Who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... A knight. Another robot. Who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Happy ending, obviously. <laughs> they reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Aww. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. <laughs> oh no. All right. Uh, my audio, my video is going at fifty-nine seconds or fifty-nine minutes. So if, if my audio, or not my audio, the video might just end, so I might have to make a part two. So if that does happen, I'm sorry. So I'll just keep going until like I reach the end of this chapter, so. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. It's still snowing. You have a long walk tomorrow. 